so hopefully we're up and running again. Uh, I do apologize for the, the little glitch there. Um, thought I had my computer plugged in, and I guess I didn't. So it died on me just a, a moment ago, but hopefully we've got you back up now. We are in the bottom of the uh, sixth inning. Fort Scott Greyhounds trying to get a run here, and they will get one back after a double by Aiden Slotty advanced to third and now scores on Tri uh, Tris uh, Maka Shigematsu's single through the left side. Scott will get one run back. They gave up three in the top half of the frame. Get one back here in the bottom half. And now pitching there to Owen Rush is in there for a strike. Breaking ball. Catches the plate, 0 and 2. Now the 0 2 on the way. Swung through and missed. So a strike out there of Owen Rush, and that'll bring Mike Polabinski back to the plate. The Greyhound right fielder is so far 0 for 2 today. He did reach on a fielder's choice in the third and then had a sacrifice bunt in the fourth. Nothing and one the count as he takes a first pitch strike. This one's fouled back, in, or excuse me, hit out towards right field. And it's going to be caught by the right fielder there. Out number one, excuse me, out two. So now Luke Stout will step in. And that one hit Stout in the leg, so he will reach on a hit by pitch. Shigematsu will move down to second. Tying run is now on first base for the Greyhounds as they trail eight to six. And now time will be called by the Red Devils. And they will have a discussion out at the mound and maybe changing pitchers again here. And they will change pitchers.
So Saul Bolivar will be the new pitcher for the Red Devils. They've used three right-handers against the Greyhounds so far today. And now Jarrett Nelson will step back to the plate. Nelson so far has been hit by a pitch, walked and scored a run in the third, and then struck out swinging. And first pitch here is fouled off the catcher's glove. No balls in one strike. Bottom of the sixth inning. Greyhounds trying to rally here. They're down eight to six. Tying runs are on base. Here's the pitch. Right down the middle. Nothing in two. Ready. The 0-2 pitch is delivered high. So one and two now the count. Now the one two pitch. Oh nice breaking ball. Wow. <laughs> Jarrett Nelson was shocked, as shocked as I was. That ball looked like it was going to hit him and then somehow found the inside corner. So a called third strike well, in the bottom of the sixth. The Greyhounds do get a run, but they need two more, trailing at eight to six as we move to the seventh. This is Greyhound Baseball on Duckbait TV. So as we begin the top of the seventh inning, it'll be Caleb Horsey leading off again. His first at bat led off the sixth, and that opened the floodgates for a three-run inning for the Red Devils. He singled, stole a base, and scored. And Allen still leads at eight to six here. One-one pitch to Horsey is high and outside, two balls and a strike. Now, ball nubbed out in front of the plate. Catcher's got it over to first, and that's a nice job by the Greyhounds as Ty Golusky comes out of his crouch and makes the play to Kale Clark. He's in there for a strike. Nothing in one. Clark two for 
two for three. He's been on three times. He's single, double, and walked in this game so far. This one's fouled off left side. One ball and two strikes now. A couple of big home runs for the Greyhounds in this game. Joey Little had a solo shot in the first inning and then three-run homer for Golusky. Nice play at first base. by Jarrett Nelson. So that retires Clark and now there's two outs. Rounded out towards second. Nice play by Shikamatsu. High throw, but it's in time. And that will replay, uh, retire the Red Devils in order here in the seventh. So we'll go to the bottom of the seventh. The, tie, or the Greyhounds need two. We'll see if they can get it in just a moment here. This is Greyhound Baseball on Duckbait TV. Those we head to the bottom of the seventh. Greyhounds needing two runs to keep this game going here. Again, the first game will be seven innings unless we need extras. And then the nine inning game will be the second one here. We'll have that one for you too here on Duck Bay TV, so don't go anywhere. We will, in between the games, we will actually stop the broadcast and then restart the broadcast. So we'll have a couple of two games there so if folks just want to go watch the second game they can find that hopefully fairly easily on the replay here's the pitch and that one's taken outside for a ball it's Ty Golusky to lead things off and then Joey Little and Cord Dobrinsky do up here on the bottom of the seventh for the Greyhounds if anybody gets on Aiden Slot will be would be due up that pitch is low and outside ball two A strike in there. Two one pitch on the way. That one's down the middle. Well, to be down the middle. Maybe a little bit high. Three balls and one strike. And a walk. So nice job by Golusky to draw the leadoff walk here in the bottom of the seventh. Hopefully that can turn into something good for the Greyhounds here. So Joey Little will step in.
little so far as homeward in the game. He's also been hit by a pitch and flying out to right center. First pitch is fouled out of play. It's one and one. One one pitch on the way. Nice breaking ball again. Catches the inside corner. One ball and two strikes. We got a great view of that right here behind home plate. Looks like it's going to be well inside on those right-handed hitters out of the out of the hand, and so they're just letting it go and. Right at the last second, it breaks across the inside part of the plate. That one did hit him. So a walk and a hit batter will bring the winning run to the plate here for the Greyhounds in the bottom of the seventh inning. Cord Dobrinsky. Maybe he could get one up into that jet stream to right field and in this game. Shorten the bunt, takes pitch low. Snap throw back to second is not in time. Another shortened the bunt. He's going to get it out in front of the plate, throw over to first by the pitcher is in time. Sacrifice bunt, moves runners to second and third. Poked into right center field. That's going to score two. Here come the tying runs. One run in. Here comes the second, and the Greyhounds have tied it here in the bottom of the seventh inning. On the base hit by Aiden Slot. Out. Runner moves down to second base and he will get there safely. So a stolen base for slot. Now the winning run is in scoring position for the Greyhounds here in the bottom of the seventh inning. through and missed. Maka Shikamatsu, who is two for three so far today. And the out was a hard line drive, pulled right at the first baseman. Back in the second inning, he was holding a runner on over there and they got a double play, but it was poked pretty good. O2 pitch off the inside corner. Oh, 
Well, one ball and one strike. They had one and two on the scoreboard. One ball and one strike. The count on the batter. Pitcher checks the runner at second. Here's the pitch. That one's fouled out of play. Now it's one and two. Place base hit might get it done here. Let's see what Shikamatsu can do. Bolivar checks the runner. Here's the pitch. This one's hammered but fouled on the right field line. One out, bottom of the seventh. Two runs have already scored for the Greyhounds, and we've got a tie game at eight. Steps off. Two balls and two strikes. Two two pitch. Hit right back up the middle, it's, oh! Sure looked like it was gonna get to the outfield, it doesn't, here comes the throw to third. That's not gonna be, in, hey, it was actually cut off by the pitcher. Everybody's safe. That ball right off the bat, I got deked a little bit. I thought that was gonna be a solid line drive into center field, it was not. It was in the infield. The second baseman went over to pick it, barehanded Clark, he threw to first, couldn't get the play at first. And then moving up to third base on the throw was slot. So runners on the corners now with only one out. And now they're going to walk the batter to load the bases. So they walk Owen Rush to turn the lineup card over to Polabinski. Base is loaded now for the Greyhound right fielder. With only one out in the bottom of the seventh. They walk the number nine hole hitter to set up a force in any base with one out. Here's the pitch that swung through and missed. Lebensky reached on a fielder's choice and scored in the third, but he is 0 for 3 with a sacrifice bunt in this game. Here's the 0-1. Fouled off right side, not a play. Quickly 0-2. Still just one out. Base is loaded. Winning run here in game one of the doubleheader over on third base. Two pitch, fouled right back at us. Nothing in two, remains the count. Infield playing at normal depth here. Trying to get a double play to end the inning. Oh two, fouled. At the plate. Bottom of the seventh inning. Base is loaded. If the Greyhounds score here, it's over. If not, of course, we'll play the eighth. Swung through and missed on the 0-2. Might have been foul tipped even. Well, that's a strikeout. Two outs in the inning now. And 
Now Luke Stout comes back up. Luke so far today is 0 for 3, but his last time up, he was hit by a pitch. If that happens again, that would do it. First pitch, this one's fouled off. Third base side, right behind us. Out of play. Ball, one strike. For the Greyhound third baseman today. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. This one's fouled off left side and getting out of play again. So one ball and two strikes, two outs. Two runs already in again. If the Greyhounds can score again here in the seventh, this game will be over. If not, we'll go to the eighth inning. The Greyhounds can't lose at this point, which is Good thing considering we've been trailing most of this game today. Here's the one two. Fouled off left side. Count remains one and two. One-two pitch, another foul ball. Don't get out of play. A great job by Luke Stout to stay alive here. Working the count on the pitcher, Bolivar. From the pitcher, Bolivar. Long looking at the catcher. Here's the one, two. Nearly nicked his arm. He did just get out of the way. Two balls and two strikes now. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Bases loaded for the Greyhounds. All they need is that runner from third, though. Here's the two, two. He's popped up, foul. And out of play again. So again, Luke Stout, not sure exactly what number of pitch this is, but he's seen several here in this at bat. Here's the 2-2. Over to second, and it's gonna be caught in the air. So caught on the fly by the second baseman, Clark, and that'll end the seventh. So we'll go to the eighth with your score. Fort Scott, eight. Allen, eight. This is Greyhound Baseball on Duck Bay TV.
So as we start the eighth inning, Red Devils go with Nice Robers once again. The catcher takes first pitch strike. Here's the 0-1 pitch. It's a little low. Andrew Ryan still out on the mound for the Greyhounds. This ball hammered foul. One and two the count. Allen's catcher has flown out to center field twice. He's walked. He's also struck out in this game. So officially 0 for 3, but has reached base on that walk. 2 and 2. Here is the 2 2 pitch. This one, check swing foul. Over the Fort Scott dugout. Another foul ball. Pitch is low, so two balls and or three balls and two strikes now. Now a walk. So that will bring Col er, Anthony Talpa back to the plate. He singled and scored in the sixth inning for the Red Devils. Pitches in there for a strike. Popped up out towards right center. Man, the wind really carrying that one. That off the bat looked like it was going to be a straightaway center, but it ends up in right center field. Nice job by Slot to move over and make the catch, and that's out number one. Ball hit right to second base, over to second for one, back to first for two, and that will be the end of the eighth inning on the double play. So great inning for the Greyhounds. We'll see if they can get one to win it in the bottom of the eighth in just a few moments. This is Greyhound Baseball on Duckbait TV.
So as we head to the bottom of the eighth inning, the Greyhounds just need one to win it here. Garrett Nelson steps up. First pitch here is fouled out over the Fort Scott dugout on the right side. Nothing in one to count. Be a one pitch, just a little bit outside. Nelson still looking for his first hit here today. Here's the pitch. This is foul out of play, one and two. Nelson officially 0 for 2, but he's been on twice. He was hit by a pitch in the first inning, walked and scored in the third. He's also struck out twice, struck out looking his last time on an amazing breaking ball. This one's fouled back towards our camera, one and two. He turned around after that strikeout in the sixth and just had this look of absolute shock on his face. As Bolivar made a pitch bend. Almost like Beckham, I guess. Looked like it was going to hit. Nelson, probably about three-fourths of the way to the plate before it broke across the inside corner. Now three and two the count on the Greyhound first baseman. Three-two pitch. That's low. So a walk will put the winning run on base. Nick Jones will be the pinch hitter. Hitting for Ty Golusky, who was one for two. Had a free run homer in the third. Want to know the count? Shorten the bunt, takes ball two. And now three and oh. See, will the bunt still be on, or will he get the green light here? Three and oh. Trying to move that winning run into scoring position. Shortens to bunt. And takes ball four. So a couple of walks to lead the inning off. And now Joey Little will come to the plate. Joey had a home run his first time up back in the second. Just a well-placed base hit could do the trick here. He's going to try to bunt, though, and takes another ball low. Why not? Jones tried to sacrifice four times, took four pitches outside of the strike zone. Now the 1-0, this is going to be bunted. Left side, a great bunt, throw is high! And here comes the winning run! So the Greyhounds will take this one!
A final score, nine to eight. The run, Nelson scores from second. Almost looked like there was a little bit of a collision there at first base too, but hopefully everybody's okay. Fort Scott scores. Nine to eight, the score here in eight innings. Fort Scott will get the win. Again, your final score, Fort's got nine and Allen eight. Let's run through the totals here real quick. Eight run or four Fort Scott, nine runs on ten hits, no errors. One, Eleven runners left on base. They got an error up on the scoreboard. I gave a double um, there in, I forget what inning that was, instead of a single and an error. But either way, uh, didn't really hurt Fort Scott too much. Eight runs on 11 hits, one error, and 11 runners left on base for the Red Devils in this one. Andrew Ryan gets the win out of the bullpen. Saul Bolivar takes the loss for Allen. And I had two hours and 47 minutes in this one. And the Greyhounds get win number 31 on the season. So with that, we're going to stop our broadcast here for game one. We're going to get some things reset and uh, take a little bit of a break and then start things for game two in just a little bit. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll re uh, give us uh, well a few minutes, I want to say about 15 or so, and then refresh your device, whatever you're, you're watching us on, and uh, we should be up for the second game in just a little bit. So stay tuned. We'll have that in just a few moments, but we will shut off the uh, broadcast for right now and, uh, and get things switched over for the second game. So thanks again for, for joining in. Uh, Fort Scott 9 and Allen 8 here in game 1 of the doubleheader here this afternoon at Lions Stadium. <laughs> 